Good morning. Welcome to the table of the Lord. I'd like to start out by reading out of 1 Corinthians 11, starting in verse 23. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he Also, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Several weeks ago, as we were doing communion at home, my my daughter, Claire, asked the question, Why do we take communion? Now, I, I just quickly sh- shot out an answer that, well, you know, Jesus told us to do this to remember him. And Claire's response is, I know that, but why do you take communion? And this got me thinking that often we, we know the what, but we don't know, know the why, or we don't think about the reasoning, the whys, and that so as I talked with Claire and that, my, my mind's been, been thinking about this. Now, obviously the, the, the big reason why we take communion is because Jesus um, told us to do this. He, he commanded this or he, he ordained it. He said, do this in remembrance of me. As we, we take communion every Sunday, we are re- remembering that Jesus willingly went to the cross. He wasn't guilty of any crimes, but he, he didn't deserve the punishment, but he willingly went along with to the cross, and there he met his death. And as you know, that death did not last very long. So as we take communion, we are remembering that death, but we're also, it's a reminder to us that one day we will also die, but because we are a follower of Christ, we will have the same fate and we will have a new life. Jesus came back to life, and, but we will have a new life and we will be with God forever. Uh, another reason I was thinking of is communion is a reminder that we are connected together as a church, that we are one body. I, I like how um, Martin Luther Um, describes it, and this is summarizing what he says, but Luther will say that the sacrament, the the bread and the wine, is is a reminder that we are not only connected to Christ, but we are also connected to the saints. We are the body of Christ, and we are connected. Now, People's Church of Christ is connected, but it also is talking about the whole world. The, our brothers and sisters all over the world, we are all connected together with Christ. And we are one. We work together to carry out the gospel, to, to advance the kingdom. And that, that really brings me to a, the, a third reason. And there's probably some other reasons, but the, these are the three that stood out to me. Um, in verse 26 in 1 Corinthians here, it says, For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. When we eat the bread and drink the juice, this is a reminder of who we are. This is our DNA that we have been called to proclaim the death of Christ. This is why we exist as a church and as a, as a body of believers is to go and to proclaim the death. And this is good news to carry out. So today, while you are at home, um, social distancing and all that, um, don't be discouraged, but be encouraged. Because as you take the bread and the, the juice and you eat and drink this, be reminded that you are connected to Christ. Also be reminded that you are not alone, that we as a church is one. And our brothers and sisters all over the world are in this um, battle to, to, to advance the kingdom. And be reminded that as you proclaim the death, you are not alone in this, 
that we are all in this together, working together. So be encouraged by this bread and be encouraged by this juice because it is a reminder that Jesus came and he died for us, but death could not hold him down. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to, to gather together, um, not, maybe not physically, but, but we are all together. And, and thank you for sending your son and allowing him to go to the cross and, and to take on the punishment that, that we deserve. We rejoice that after three days, your son came back to life. And we, we rejoice that we know that in our future, we will have a new life and we will be with you forever. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.